What are bath salts? Bath salts are a group of recreational designer drugs chemically reloaded to cathinones. Cathinones are a naturally occurring stimulant present in the cat plants with effects similar to those of ephedrine and amphetamines. These synthetic cathinones were first synthesized in the 1920s, but remained obscure until the first decade of the 21st century when underground chemists rediscovered them and used them within designer drugs as the compounds used were illegal in many jurisdictions. Bath salts were sold primarily online in the UK, but in the US, they were widely available in many small independent stores. Many gas stations and head shops would carry many of these new legal highs, with hundreds of variations of these products being created and sold. However, on July 2012, US federal drug policy was amended to ban the drugs commonly found in bath salts, where they were legal in 41 states prior. Bat salt symptoms include headache, heart palpitations, nausea, cold fingers, hallucinations, paranoia, and panic attacks. Heart attacks, kidney failure, liver failure, dehydration, and violent behaviors have also been reported, and some of the compounds found in bat salts have been shown to catalyze psychosis in people already susceptible to psychotic disorders. Mark Thompson Lisa Powers bought a pygmy goat for her four-year-old grandson on a Friday night in 2012. Powers' nephew received a phone call from a neighbor on the following Monday, letting them know that their new goat was seen roaming around Mark Thompson's house and they should probably come get it. Lisa's nephew, who had been to Thompson's house before, decided to check it out with two other women. When the trio arrived at the house, Thompson, hiding in a bedroom closet, told them not to come in because he was naked. Despite this, they opened the door to see Thompson standing there, over a dead goat with blood everywhere, with his pants down and in women's underwear. When questioned by the group about the goat, Thompson ran out of the house only to be found in the woods several hours later by the police, where he admitted to being high on bath salts for the past three days. Officers found the small goat dead on the floor, bleeding profusely from its neck with a pornographic magazine just a few feet from the body. Mark Thompson pleaded not guilty to allegedly stealing, raping, and killing his neighbor's goat due to mental illness. The West Virginian court accepted this plea and sent Thompson to William Sharp Mental Hospital for six and a half years of treatment. Pamela McCarthy According to the multiple 911 calls made to the Munsville, New York Police Department, in June of 2012, Pamela McCarthy was seen running naked down the street towards her three-year-old son that had just gotten free from after being punched and choked. McCarthy ran after her son only to stop and attack a neighbor's dog, rolling around the yard with the animal with her legs around it, strangling it in the process. McCarthy's boyfriend saw this and ran to save the child until police arrived on scene where they confronted Pamela who had become more and more violent and combative. Once troopers approached her, she growled at them and tried to bite one of the officers. She resisted arrest and was subsequently pepper sprayed, but there was no effect. So the arresting officer pulled out and used his taser and was eventually able to handcuff her. Once in custody, McCarthy went into cardiac arrest and was taken to the hospital where she later died. The three-year-old son was treated for his injuries and was later moved in with McCarthy's boyfriend's mother. Tests later showed Pamela McCarthy was high on bath salts during the incident. David Stewart David Stewart was a twice-deployed combat medic, an army sergeant that on April 5, 2011, raced past a Washington state trooper on Interstate 5 and would be pulled over for speeding only to shoot and kill his wife in front of the officers, then turned the gun on himself. Once police conducted an investigation of the couple's home, they found their five-year-old son dead due to asphyxiation. The child was found with a bag over his head and bruising all over his body. Toxicology reports showed that both David Stewart and his wife had bath salts, specifically MDPV, in their systems at the time of death. 
Stewart had packets of the drug in his pockets and granules of the drug were found in the car. Dickie Sanders Dad, look, there's 25 police cars out there. Dickie Sanders said to his father, while high on cloud nine bath salts, on the day of November 10, 2010. Sanders, who had been experiencing a psychotic episode after snorting the drug, was convinced that there was an entire police force coming after him. His paranoia and hallucinations were so intense that he took a kitchen knife and slit his own throat from ear to ear in front of his dad and his sister. Luckily, the blade missed any major arteries, and his father was able to apply pressure to the wound with his son's shirt to stop the bleeding until the cut was stitched up. Dickie's high would carry on through the next day, where he would tell his dad, I just want this stuff out of me. He just wanted it to be over. When his father, Richard Sanders, awoke on the day of the 12th, he found his son lying on the floor in another room. He thought his son was asleep at first, until he realized he had killed himself the night before. Dickie Sanders had found a 22 caliber rifle, put the barrel in his mouth, and pulled the trigger. The family would bury the cremated remains of their son on their Louisiana property. <laughs>